Hello and welcome to another video. As you can see in front of me I've got some Necron Lich Guard which I've just completed as part of my Necron 2024 project. And I wanted to show these Lich Guard off because they are quite different to how you normally build them. Lich Guard normally just have a head with a crown type design on uh, and then their shoulders are just quite plain. Where the Triarch Praetorians look slightly different with a different head and they have this massive kind of pronounced spine type structure on their backs. And I just think that makes them look way more bulky than the Lich Guard. And seeming as I wanted my Lich Guard to be all about bulk and toughness with the tower shields, I decided that I wanted to use the torso from the Triarch Praetorians. And I think it's come out really well. Now it looks like they've got a lot of protection from behind as well as the giant tower shield in front. Normally when you've got either like Space Marines or Sisters of Battle, if you want to make a unit or a model look more important than other ones, typically you put something on their backpack and that makes them look a, a lot more important. So I thought the same thing about these, where I thought they looked way more intimidating and important when they had that giant bit on their back. So that's what I did. Because in games, this brick of uh, Necron Lich Guard uh, have just absorbed so many wounds. Uh, they, they've been quite a formidable force uh, where you know it, it takes a lot to kill them and the Overlord that I normally put with them. Um, and all of those are shots that would potentially go up against something else that I want to keep safe, like a Doomstalker or something like that. So they're quite a powerful melee unit. And there's just something about tower shields that really, really appeals to me. I love this one in particular who's just kind of like taking us a, a walk towards the enemy with everything down like he's going to obliterate them. I've gone for my usual technique that I mentioned in my other videos, uh, the, the very quick dry brush uh, where you paint the, um, the blade moot green and then do a very heavy dry brush of white over it and then wash the whole thing with Tesseract Glow and that means that it looks like it's glowing. Uh, it's very very simple to achieve um, but on the tabletop from a distance it looks really good. So as I said I just mixed the two kits together uh, taking parts from each. Normally uh, with the Triarch Praetorians they actually have a tail that would come out the bottom here. Um, I literally just didn't add it on uh, and then the, the balls here seem to cover it quite well uh, so you wouldn't even know that it's meant to have an extra bit on there. Um, but other than that everything is just a, a, a nice blend of the two kits. Um, and one of them uh, is actually meant to have an upside down blade uh, as if they're, he's carrying it uh, underneath reverse grip. Uh, but I decided I just didn't really like the look of that. So what I did was I took the staff from one of the uh, Triarch Praetorian staffs, um, chopped that off, and then reattached this blade with a longer staff. Um, so it actually does look like it's ever so slightly not following a straight line. I, I didn't exactly get the gluing right, but for most angles that looks fine. Um, but if anything, that's actually given him a longer staff, so he almost looks more like a, a sergeant figure, like a leader of the squad. Um, and it means all of them have all of their blades pointed up, which I, I just think looks looks much nicer, really. Um, the colour scheme is exactly the same as all my other Necrons. Uh, they're painted lead belcher with a screaming bell copper colour. Uh, and then washed all over with null oil on the lead belcher and agrax earthshade on the screaming bell colour. Um, it's then moot green for all of the little green parts uh, and retributor gold for the retributor armour, sorry, for, uh, for all the gold parts. Um, and I went in in the chest piece uh, with eshing grey and then uh, used a brush to very <laughs> carefully and neatly just put retributor armour on the Necron silver, almost like a dry brush because it's so small at that stage. So here they are protecting my overlord like they do in most of my games. Um, what do you think? Do you like the conversion that I've done on them? Uh, or do you prefer the normal look of the Lich Guard? Personally, I'm really happy with them. Um, and I'm also glad that I went with the copper colour on the shields because most shields I've seen painted for Lich Guard are actually black. 
Um, but to, to me, I wanted them, like, I th always think tower shields and things should show off the colour scheme of the army. Um, so for me, it, it was I was dead set on using the copper colour for all of the tower shields. But what do you think? Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.